What's up guys, I'm Suman from Phone Steam. So this video before I start I'll just inform you that this is gonna be like a random vlog video like to say. I'll be talking about the new iPod touch. So that's the sixth generation but this will be in a random style. So I'll be just taking a look at the monitor for a few times because I'm not completely sure about what and all is there as it's a new release and uh, the time of shooting which is now is actually an hour or two after the release of the iPod touch so please bear with that so without wasting any time let's jump right into it are you listening damn So the new iPod Touch, so after two years of hard work, or say not hard work, of two years of laziness, Apple has finally uh, made improvements to the iPod lineup, so externally, so design wise or say the looks, nothing has changed, but everything here is internal, except for the colors which is the exterior and let's start off with the colors that you get. So now there are six options so you get space gray uh, champagne gold silver and a striking pink which actually in my opinion looks sick sick in the sense it doesn't look nice and there's a bright blue and that is kind of okay and you have product red so that is about the colors so Talking about the pricing and capacity, you have now up to 128 gigs. So starting from $199 all the way up to $400. So as the website states, you can get the 128 gig model only through Apple. So if you want a 128 gig version, go to Apple Store or purchase it online. So size and weight, nothing has changed. So the same 6.1 millimeters thin device and and you get the same 4 inch retina display which is an amazing display with the IPS technology and it's good resolution. So as I told you all the changes are in the hardware and now the iPod Touch 6th generation is equal to or say is as same as the iPhone 6. So it has the A8 processor with the M8 motion Pro processor. So one thing great about this is that it has a 64-bit processor so anyways as you would have noticed Apple products uh, like say for example iPad, iPhone they all play games well even while they were like 32 bit but now with 64-bit have more flexibility like say if you're using iMovie or playing a game everything is gonna be really really smooth another major upgrade to the hardware lineup is the camera so now you have a bump of extra 3 megapixels so from the 5 megapixel camera it's now an 8 megapixel eyesight camera so it has an aperture size of f top 2.4 and it has the same 5 element lens and blah 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 face detection exposure control burst mode everything that you find on an iphone 6 except for the aperture size which is a little higher so maybe you won't get too much of light inside but anyway that is actually good so you can record video at uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second slow motion video at 120 frames you have time lapse cinematic video stabilization blah 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 and one more upgrade is to the FaceTime HD camera it's a 1.2 megapixel camera and I think that's not such a big upgrade but the f stop so meaning the aperture is 2.2 so you're gonna get amazing amazing selfies or say good pics or videos for say your instagram account or say snapchat so it is really gonna be amazing and as usual stuff or say usual apple stuff you have wireless 802.11 abgn ac wi-fi bluetooth 4.1 blah 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 you have audio play whatever is given here so these are all the huge upgrades that the iPod touch 6th generation has faced and they are actually amazing for the price 200 dollars 
you get an 8 megapixel i7 camera uh, amazing processor with a 64 bit a uh, beautiful 4 inch retina display a thin profile everything for just 200 dollars only thing you can't call because this is an ipod so make sure you get one and if you're lucky enough please try to get the product red as it is really striking so thank you for watching and this is someone signing off once again peace